<laughs> hey guys and welcome back on my youtube channel it's your boy troll and today we have even more news for you yes we have received the patch notes and there are some things that i haven't talked about in my last video so we're gonna check it out together right now i have prepared my little notepad and we're gonna go through everything together now first of all we're gonna have two new legendary hero uh, this friday and one epic so uh for the legendary and the epic heroes i got the skills already but i'm gonna wait till release the patch notes for everyone so we can then make a video about it together uh, it's I, I just don't want to read through it. It will take too much time. But so just so you know in terms of epic We're gonna have Dustin which is a support in the Brotherhood Nameless Brotherhood, okay, it's an epic and it's a blue mark in terms of legendaries We're gonna have two new legendary heroes. We're gonna have Kinlan Which is well legendary, but it's attack blue and eternal sect and then the other legendary will be uh, Herta. Herta attack as well, blue as well. So they understood that blue has not enough of heroes in Sunset Sages. So this is for the new heroes. Now, in terms of Friday Miracle Event, for the legendary, we're gonna get... Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, where is it? Legendary, legendary, legendary. We're gonna get... We're gonna get Herta, blah, 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 blah. Nazael. So if you don't have Nazael, which is the most broken hero for PvP right now, uh, it's the time for you to pull. And then in Epics, uh, we're gonna have Maya, Hardak, Dustin, and Longbeard. Uh, new heroes can be only obtained, blah, blah, blah. Free hero regression event will be live from 24th to 30th November, during which the following heroes can be regressed for free. Nidrold, Elena, Natalie, and Hisaro. Okay, so since they're gonna change uh, Bleed and Poison, uh, basically, apparently, we're gonna be able to regress some heroes. Uh, now, they are only doing it from Bleed, for what I see. They're not doing it for Poison. And why they are not doing it for poison? It's simply because poison was not nerfed. It was buffed. So poison doesn't change at all. There's just an additional effect to it. That's why I guess poison can't be regressed. But yeah, basically you're gonna have free regression for bleed legendaries. Not epics. Epics are not included. Uh, new features. I mean, new features, we already know about them. We have the stamina storage, uh, which we know already. I already talked about it. I don't understand why is it up to 2000. It makes no sense. Just make it unlimited. Why is it up to 2000? Uh, what they also added, which I didn't know, I just learned about it right now, is that every Friday, uh, not every Friday, but every event, you can uh, turn off and on the future for the specific hero. So a lot of you complain that sometimes the hero are complete garbage, which I agree. And the fact that we can now switch on and off the banner is amazing. Now, it's specific hero tag up. It's not for miracle event. So it doesn't work for miracle event, obviously, because miracle event is already uh, a focused event. Now, why I speak, let me just launch a fight because I need to finish my campaign quest. And then added customized settings to Hero Fritter, oh, obviously. So, yeah, we're going to have the test environment. We're going to basically be able to change the statistics, level, exclusive, etc. of all the heroes in the gallery and test it out from there. Uh, next, we have adjustments for heroes. Adjustments for heroes, which basically means nerfs or buffs for heroes. So, nerfs, buffs, heroes. First of all, we're gonna have Taft. Uh, optimize the skill description of Taft. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm not going to fucking read this, and it's too long. There you go. So, Taft. Optimize the skill description of Taft passive skill, Spirit of Life, and active skill, Breath of Nature. Okay, optimize the skill description for Natalie's passive skill, blah, 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 exclusive level 2. Okay, great. Uh, what? That's it? Okay, can you like... 
It takes too too fast. I, I'm killing you too fast, guys. Can you like level up your heroes and stuff? Like those fights are just too slow, too far, too fast. Anyway, okay. So this is for tough. Then we have stage. Optimize the brave trial event and add the next stage button to battle screen, settlement screen. Uh, okay, so apparently now we're just gonna be able to switch that from one to another. Okay. I mean, it's a small quality of life improvement. It's not, uh, for example, skip fucking battle in the arena, but it's already nice. Uh, then we're going to have system. So this we already talked about it. Uh, we're going to have the reduced stamina cost for the emblem challenge, which is great. Uh, I just I'm just want to see if they're going to pay us back for all the emblems we have already farmed. Like if they do, amazing. If they don't, then this change is completely irrelevant for me. And then optimize the display of player info and added the entrance of guild info to it. Okay. Okay, I mean, I, cool. Uh, then, oh, there it is. Oh, okay, so they changed everything here. Okay, so we now have skill adjustments. So no, sorry, this was just changes. What is changes? Or improvements, no, adjustments. So this is adjustments. And now here we're gonna have skill adjustments. Okay. Uh, pop, pop, pop. I don't care if this video is long. I have to finish those fights because I need, I really need the exclusive eye from, uh, from the campaign quest so I can destroy 3-3 arena because we don't have skip battle anyway. <laughs> So yeah, bleed, I mean bleed, okay, the changes for bleed and poison are available on your Discord. So in terms of poison and bleed, you can check announcements uh, or something like that in official Discord. I already saw that Doris posted it. So you can check the changes, uh, exact changes on your Discord. However, what you can't see yet is the changes for the heroes. Uh... Oh shit, there are a lot of changes, okay. So, let's start with Taf. So, Taf, exclusive uh, level 2. Before, inflict severe wound on the intended target for 2 turns. After, targets who are afflicted with interwind by Taf will be additionally afflicted with severe wounds for 2 turns. That's it? Yes. Like that. Okay. So basically, whoever has interwind, interwind with, from Taf will also automatically have severe wounds. It's okay. I like it. Uh, then we have a huge change. Fuck, a huge change to Natalie. Okay, let's go one by one because uh, there's a lot. So then we have Natalie. Obviously, since we have the changes in bleed and everything, we're going to have plenty of changes here. Let me just make it smaller so we can read it. Please. Okay. So, Natalie, basic skills, kid strike. Deals 140 attack damage to a single enemy with ba 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 ba. What? 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Is this the change? From this to this? Okay, so this is the change, but they have. <laughs> okay. So before, I guess this was before and this is after. Uh, chance to inflict one layer of bleed, which is kind of great. Like, I mean, 80% to inflict bleed is nice. Uh, active skill energy burst. So this is her passive, I uh, imagine. Uh, before, inflict a layer of bleed on all enemies. Afterward, deals 140 attack damage to all enemies with that. Ba -ba -ba -ba, chance to reduce the target effects. After. There is a 100% chance to inflict one layer of bleed on all enemies for two turns. Uh, afterward, deals 100% on enemies with a 30 uh, chance to reduce their effect for two turns. Uh, so they changed the 100% chance, basically. So this is a nerf. This is a nerf. Because basically, before you inflict it, there is no question about it. Now, there's a 100% chance, which means if you have enough of resistance, you can actually uh, resist it. Before, you were not able to resist it. So this sounds like, a, yeah, this sounds like a nerf to me. 
Uh, exclusive one. Before, there is a 50% chance to reset the duration of bleed on the target when Natalie attacks actively. This is huge, by the way. This is, if you have a bleed team, this is basically Wolsey or uh, Mustafa. Not Mustafa, Mapka. Uh, so this is great. If you have a bleed team, uh, you kind of need, ex I mean, you know, you don't need. If you have Elena, you don't give a fuck about this. There is a, okay, after there's a 50% chance to reset the duration of the target bit when dot resists damage. Yeah, I mean, yes. Not that I, that I would think about it. If, if you have Elena, you don't think about reset. It will just automatically reset. Like the exclusive tree of Elena is just broken in this game. Exclusive to Natalie restores HP banana of max base of layers bleed the target banana. After Natalie restores her HP of the max and bleed at harder cast. Wait, this is there's way more to that. Sorry, like that, like that. You can just pause the video and read after it for it. For me, it doesn't change anything. Uh, I never ever will tell you to put a legendary eyes into Natalie. It's completely useless. Ah, uh, okay. This is also. I oh know this is better. Boom. Uh, this is not well enough boom okay so level three before increase not for every layer of bleach inflicted on enemy the buff country be removed after for this is great for a uh, girl boss after after for every one layer of bleed natalie inflicts on enemies she gains zero for each block increase her attack when uh, the will be removed will not be removed when the owner dies or at wave transition so this is i guess whenever luna revives her or something like that okay then we go for Hisaro. Oh my god. Listen guys, you can just pause the video. Like I just like I will just quickly read through it, but uh also you're gonna have those patch notes soon. But Hisaro, active skill open wounds before no 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 to a single enemy restores uh, HP, mean one fixed inferior wound on the target. If the target's under beat or severe wound status, if it's severe wound. Instead, into turns and restore the nana. After deals uh, and if it's severe Ooh, they changed it. It's directly severe wound on the target, mean one restore. Okay, they buffed him. Okay, Hisaro got a nice buff. Now Hisaro is amazing for Gwyneth. If he yeah, this is great. Active skill. Open wounds. Before deals. This is nice. This is great. If he puts the severe wound all the time, this is actually very good. So yeah, that's a definitely buff for uh, Hisaro. Next, Nick rolled. Okay. They I think they just increased the percentage here, right? Basic attack sword of destruction before this two stages of na 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 each to a single enemy with a pretty chance of na na This to say na to each enemy in the same na Basically, yeah, they just increased the percentage here. Yeah, it was 30%, now it's up to 60. So this is above. And then... Uh, oh my god, there's just so much. Then we have his exclusive. Oh my god. Okay. And then we have after. So passive skill, sharp sword, aura. Before, increase the bleed damage dealt by need roll by ta ta ta. Meanwhile, there's a 60% chance to cover direct damage to bleed. Damage whenever he heals direct damage to the card. After, 80% of the damage dealt by Nero is considered bleed damage. Okay, so basically, the more mastery you have, the more it increases. And you'll be affected. Yeah, there you go. But cannot lend a crit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nerf. That's a nerf. <laughs> Besides, Nick Roll deals no, 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 more bleed damage. Okay. Yeah, that's a nerf. <laughs> that's a huge nerf. <laughs> Basically, you cannot crit with the, that damage. So, yeah, that's. It, it, there's no way you can increase the damage so much with the mastery that you would be able to do it with crit rate, crit damage. Like, that's a huge nerf. Uh, exclusive one for Nick Roll. Skill effects completely change after Nick Roll casts Sword Mastery. Again, up to three times for every enemy under bleed status after casting Sword Mastery. The damage deal balance is half for each hand. And level 2, skill effect completely change after Nicola's addition increase. So those are basically changed. They completely change his exclusives. Again, you'll be able to check them out. I'm just going quickly through it because you can pause the video, read it. And I just don't want to make a 20-minute video. It's pointless. You are grown-ups that I can read, right? Right. But you can wait till I launch a fight. Thank you very much. So, Elena, basic attack, dual light slash. Before deals two stages on an to each, damage each to a single enemy with apparent just a little bit for two turns. 
after deals da 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 so they reduce the damage they re they nerfed her but they increase the effect hit so it's it's kind of a nerf into a buff which is uh, not great i don't know okay so this is her active skill let's just go like that how did they fucking change it? Oh, oh, okay. This 160 to all enemies before it was 60. But they haven't changed anything else. It's literally the same text. Yeah. So they just increased her damage. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that's that's it. That's all for the patch notes. I don't have anything else. Uh, so obviously the bleed heroes are being changed. We have three new heroes. Regression option. And yeah. So again, let's go quickly over it. We have new legendaries. Friday Miracle Event specific heroes. Free regression for bleed legendaries. New features. Then we have adjustments. Staff stage system. Then we have skill adjustments. Poison bleed. Uh, for exact changes in terms of poison and bleed, you can check my last video. Or you can just go on your Discord. Uh, hero adjustments. So we have tough exclusives. We have Natalie. Uh, active skill. Uh, exclusive again guys just pause the video you can read it I don't want to make it 10 hours I, I'm giving you the information literally so you can just pause and go through it but overall it sounds like a lot of hero are getting nerfed uh, you are getting nerfed in terms of doing the damage but we are getting buffed in terms of it's easier now to apply bleed but poison team honestly I for me poison team nothing changes like for me, Poison Team, nothing changes. Anyway, guys, it was your boy Troll. I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs>